Hey, I'm Sharp, and welcome to Readings. Pisces. Mm. It's been a few days. I want to thank you guys for waiting on me. And life has been so busy. I'm always thinking about you, so. And welcome new subscribers. Okay, we're going to go to the field. We're going to go to the field tarot. These are by Hannah Elizabeth Fofana. Hannah, Hannah Fofana. Mm. Oh, I wonder how many times she was teased for that name. She's probably heard that song many, many times. Let's go to the field, Pisces. Not a cornfield, but a wide open field. We can see everything coming towards us. Now, the last time I did a spy reading for Pisces, and that spy reading was, what's the other side thinking about? But tonight, we're going to those single Pisces who are healed. Those single Pisces who are not looking back, but looking forward. Let spirit speak, Pisces. Single Pisces. Healed and doing well. Let's go. Well, we have the, uh, um, the Seven of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands followed by the uh, Success card in the reverse, the Six of Wands in the reverse. So, <laughs> you know when you heal... And I don't care who wants to try to debate this, but it's very, very true. But when you're feeling healed, the Seven of Wands, and that's putting up uh, barriers, and that's putting up, that's putting up boundaries, and that's, I'm not going to do that again. I've learned my lesson, and I've learned it well. But you know what? It also, unfortunately, makes you a very lonely person. Come on now. You're going to admit it. Nobody wants somebody that's got their barriers up. Nobody wants somebody who is looking out for those red flags. And so the Six of Wands reversed. Well, since you've healed and since you've Put up those boundaries and since you've been stronger it seems like you just can't find anyone that's interested you've got to call it the way you see it and you know what ain't it the truth nobody wants someone who can see <laughs> people who see scare the crap out of other people so so far thank you spirit now the Nine of Swords, and underneath the Nine of Swords, it says Fear. And this is the Nightmare card. Okay. So you're not being recognized by anybody. You're stronger now, and you're feeling good. But now you're fearing. Now you've got the Nightmare card. What is it? Is it just a fear that maybe I'll spend the rest of my life alone? I'm not being recognized and I've become too strong or I've become strong and nobody seems to want me for that and when I was weak and and the usable uh, I, I seem to have been you know that very popular but not now so we have the nightmare coming in here followed by come on Pisces this is the ten of cups but it's a harmony card but it's in the reverse so it really does sound to me like you're trying to beat yourself up here. And um, good work has been done within you. But you're kind of telling yourself these fairy tales. Nobody's going to appreciate me now for who I am. And nobody's going to, I'm never going to find love again because now I'm strong. You know, nobody wants a strong person. Nobody. 
and with the Ten of Cups in the reverse. And this was this is what happens when you fear, Pisces, is that you just take those blessings and you turn them upside down and inside out. So you know you you just gonna stand strong in, in your belief that no, I'm not gonna say it's love. If it's not that you're looking for love and you can't find it, then maybe your family have noticed. Maybe your friends have noticed. Uh -huh. Oh, Pisces has never been the same since they came back from that love. Oh, Pisces, you know, they were shattered and they came back and they stood strong, but, they, you know, they've never been the same. They're a bit of a hard ass now, you know? So, does the Nine of Swords are there for a reason? But whatever reason it is, it stops your Ten of Cups. So let's carry on and see what we can find here. So we have the Six of Cups, the Innocence it's called, followed by the Six of Swords. So now, the possibility, possibility. Is that when I get well, what's called here innocence, the Six of Cups, followed by the Six of Swords in the reverse, and then all of a sudden we start thinking back. Now listen, everybody thinks differently. We are all individual people. And some people when they get stronger and when they don't put up with the bullshit and they put up the boundaries. But they find that no one else is interested or it seems that way. That nobody else has come. But sometimes they tend to look back and forget the reasons why they had to go to Karma Water. Forget the reasons why they had to get the hell out of Dutch. And when you forget the reasons, you, you see, there's a there's an innocence here about this Pisces. Is that well? I, you know, at least when I had them in my life, there was someone in my life. Yeah, and when you had them in your life, you couldn't wait to get the hell away away from them. And, and you had to make yourself stronger, and you built yourself up from the ground all by yourself. Nobody else helped you. Now, just because you're having a, a still moment, I, I mean, there's a reason why the divine keeps people away from us, and that's because the divine wants to teach you. And, and, and there are things that you must know about yourself and, and to understand about yourself before you find new love. So there's this looking back and the tendency to forget why we left. <clears throat> no, this looking back does not have to be a love, although it does show a soulmate and someone from the past, but it could be a family, a family member. It, it could be your friends just saying, well, you've never been the same. You're different now. Yeah, I'm stronger now. And they didn't know you to have that strength. They always looked at you as... I, I don't know, running around saying, oh, my life's shambles, or I just can't seem to get this done or that done, And but now you're strong and you're standing on your own. And it's an unfortunate thing because it's a sad and sometimes very, very lonely path that you will walk alone. But this is where soul family comes in. And this is what you got to do is find your soul tribe and not look back at things that you left. So with the vision coming in here, a vision card with the three of wands followed by uh, the queen of wands of vibrancy. So something happens here. The wheel of fortune is turning. And here comes the king of pentacles and it's called power. Okay, so, something happens here. 
and spirits telling me within two months. If this so far is resonating with you, and if you have just sort of glanced back at the past at family members or people who just didn't understand you for the purpose that you had, for the reasons that you had to flee, for the reasons that you had to remove yourself from a situation in order to find yourself and to grow stronger. And like I said, the, the thing is that some Pisces might feel that this is a, a nightmare because they're, they're not feeling that their blessings are, are coming. I've done so much work on myself and now I'm stronger and I feel better. But now my I, I don't seem to be getting my blessings and, and, and now we've gone into nightmare mode and, and just overthinking the whole damn thing when it's going to be one step at a time, Pisces. You just made a gigantic, gigantic step. And my God, darling, you did it on your own. Ask yourself, who was here to help me? Who was here when I was falling apart? And by God, if there was someone there, you hold on to people like that because they're hard to find. But you ask yourself, who was here to help me? You know, I, I, I suffered. <coughs> I suffered and I struggled. And who was here to help me? Now, if there's something that's coming in that's going to make you feel extremely, extremely vibrant. I mean, vibrant singing like, um, uh, like a, uh, a revelation or a uh, moment in time. But there's a ship coming in. It's going to make you feel freaking fantastic. It's your next step. So first of all, you got to stop thinking about. Uh, you got to start thinking how well you've done. And stop thinking about well, nobody else has come into my life. Well, that might be a freaking blessing right now. I mean, it would be nice to have someone to have and hold. But it just might also be a damn blessing. And maybe you've become strong to the point where you're not really ready for a relationship until you can make yourself more at ease and comfortable in your strengths. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But with the ship coming in, it's going to make you feel vibrant. It's going to make you feel like absolute, absolutely, uh, I don't know, um, vibrating. It should be vibration, not vibrancy. But the Wheel of Fortune is turning, and I got the King of Cash coming out here. The wheel is turning, and it stops on the King of Cash. Pisces, this is friggin' fantastic. This is leaps and bounds, suddenly, and in a very quick time. But the only thing is, is that you're going through this with my blessings, or... Where's my new love? Or why is my family not come back together yet? Or how, how come my, my children haven't come back? Uh, where's my children at? Or how come this? And how come that? And how come this and that? Who are we to ask the universe? How come? Just accept every moment whether it's to your desire or not oh i didn't like that moment but accept it instead of fighting it because when you fight it you control it or try to control it and then you just get more but you got a ship coming in and you've got uh, uh the power with the king of uh, pentacles and now you have the princess of ones with the exploration. Look at those freaking mountains. Ask yourself, are you ready to climb mountains? What is this ship that's coming in and the king of cash, but you got to climb mountains for it? 
could it be the opening of the door to a successful job that job that you've been waiting for and you know you know when you get it you're gonna have to climb freaking mountains but you're willing to do it because it's like it's your dream job what could it be well, let's continue on with some cards Pisces spirit temperance to stay on course because spirit is telling me and I'm feeling it very very strongly that you know sometimes it doesn't matter um, we can do a lot of work but we have to be ever so so careful because if you let the mind start to rule again or the heart we're in trouble we've got we've got to as you know, you're feeling healed. And as you know, you're probably saying, no, nope, I'm on my own. I'm good. That might be so. But don't tell me you don't have a heart's desire. Don't tell me that, um, okay, I've talked to a couple of you guys out there. I'm good. I've got my garden. That's lovely. That's beautiful. I'm so freaking happy for you. But don't tell me your garden is your heart's desire. There's something else deep down inside. There's some sort of a want or a need or a wish. And no, no, I, don't worry about me. I got my job and I go home and I'm happy. I'm happy. That's wonderful. I'm so glad that you've done so well. But is that your heart's desire? Because I know, I know that, especially Pisces, Pisces has so much love and empathy and so much heart and caring that they're not going to be fit and content with something like that. They're going to want to climb mountains. They want to find a mountain to climb. Stay on course. A temperance card coming out here. And when something comes towards you, you test those waters, darling. You test those waters. But spirit just keeps whispering two months, two months. And that's not a long time, the Empress. These are your mountains, the Empress coming out here. Here's the lioness there. Strong. Even the male lion fears the lioness. <laughs> Nobody wants to get in her way. Mm -mm. But I'm not just reading to the ladies out there. I'm reading to you guys out there too. But the empress is the mountains that are here and you're being told to stay on course and then the empress comes out which tells me, thank you spirit, He said, even though you're content and even though you're doing really, really well, there's something that you want to bring out into the world. Now, it could be you want to write that book or that poetry. Or you want to do that painting. You want to get involved in, uh, I don't know, hot yoga. Or, or you, you want to go and uh, um, find your tribe. Excellent. You, you want to go and, and um, take a course. But the Empress's ideas and, and bring them out into the world. Go and do it. Now, if it's if, if it's gentlemen out there, I don't know, I just saw a train set that maybe you want to work on your train set. Or uh, you, want to, you want to build something. Let's keep going here. So we have judgment in the reverse, and yeah, that, that's done. You know it's done. Three, four, five, six, seven of cups. And the eight of cups. Okay, so uh, the seven of cups reversed, the judgment card reversed. Someone's definitely not coming back. They probably don't like you right now compared to the mess you used to be, and now you're not that mess anymore. 
And they're kind of like, well, if anything, they're probably saying things like, Shh, look at Pisces. They've gotten to be a real bastard or a real biatch. Look at them. They always were like that, you know. They always had a nasty side to them. But that's what people see strengths. Some people, when they see strengths, when they see people who have overcome, they, they, they think that and instead of saying, my God, that Pisces is strong. They say, no, they've always been a bitch. <laughs> and whoever walked away or you walked away, whatever it was, it was done. It was done. And when you walked away, you saw the mountains there too. Now, the mountains that we are talking about are the mountains that you have to climb in order to express your empress. Come on, guys, I'm talking to you. But a ship is coming in. And this ship is going to make you feel freaking fantastic. It might be someone that you'll meet that will give you the opportunity to get your foot in the door in order to create. There's the sun. And there is the Nine of Wands Resilience. Why is the Nine of Wands with the sun? And the Ten of Swords. Followed by the Queen of Swords. Okay, one more. And the Four of Cups. Refusing. Okay. Alright, I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing here. There's a possibility here that Pisces um, goes into depression. You got the sun. This is everything. This is success. A ship is coming in and it's nothing from the past. It's perchance a, a chance to meet the king of pentacles who is someone that can help you open up a door. The wheel turns. The king of pentacles shows up out of freaking nowhere. This is being at the right place at the right time. With the Nine of Wands, is heaviness, but with the Ten of Swords, I love it. This is putting an ending to depression. This is destroying Nine Wands by bringing in Ten Swords. This is finishing something that used to be. And that used to be was probably the Nine of Swords, the Nightmare card. This is finishing old patterns that... Or old beliefs that believe now I'm healed and nothing's happening. And getting rid of that. But definitely ten swords coming down on the nine of wands here. Which is wonderful. Which is dealing with any kind of bad feelings about yourself. Or any depressions that might be coming in. Or anxieties. To refuse the cup. Now this I like to call the sister to the high priestess or the high priest. The queen of swords. Look at her. Is she not majestic? Look at that. Now that's a Libra card. But with the four of cups refusing. <laughs> what is this queen of swords? This, this person that you are. That can make judgment calls. And I, I really do feel. With Queen of Swords making judgment calls. Is what I'm feeling. That people are seeing about you right now. Spirit what? Okay let's go with spirit. Since you've been better. You've probably lost people. You've probably lost friends. Family members. They haven't quite understood how now you're so different. So much stronger. So different. And they don't understand it. And so they 
might be talking about you behind your back, but you know what? When you're the queen of swords, who gives a rat's ass? Who gives a rat's ass? I don't give a rat's ass. <clears throat> but refusing the four of cups, the two of wands is planning. This is a crossroads. Hold on. Spirit. And the death card. The rebirth of Pisces here. You know, Pisces, you, you might think... You, you might think... That when you got better, when, when you got well, when you became stronger... You might have thought that was your rebirth. I'm happy now. Just going to work and minding my business and doing my thing and hanging out with one or two friends or just coming home and cooking and you know, diddling around in the garage or, you know, just I, I'm happy. And you might think that that is rebirth. Or puttering around in the garden, just me and my garden and my cat or my dogs. And you might think that that is a rebirth, but that's not a rebirth. That is definitely a massive, massive um, accomplishment. And, and bless your heart, darling. But there's something else here. Because some of these cards, <clears throat> excuse me, some of these cards... Spirit doesn't want me to speak. Or a spirit doesn't want me to speak. These cards are telling me that even though you're stronger and you're better for it. And you're like, wow. There's something here that is yet to be finalized. And I think number one. It could be anxiety and depression that has been left over. Or it could be number two, the anxieties and the depressions of loneliness. Because like I said before, it is a lonely, lonely path that many walk because others don't understand the strengths. But there is a rebirth coming in here. There's, you will stand at the crossroads here. This crossroads will take you into death and rebirth. There will be a death of that one thing that is still yet to be accomplished. Because you've gone through so much. But if you look deep within yourself, you'll say, yeah, there is something there. There still is something. It might not be depression or, but it could be loneliness. But there's something there. Well, that is going to snuff out and say bye-bye to that. Four of Wands. There is someone yet to come. But Spirit is telling me that they won't come until that final step is accomplished. That final step can probably destroy a new relationship. That feeling lonely. So suppose you didn't deal with that lonely feeling, okay? Just suppose. Let's just try to put it into hillbilly terms here. Let's suppose that you didn't deal, uh, I mean, you, you got strong and you did it on your own and you're standing tall and you're feeling great. But you didn't deal with that loneliness. That step wasn't taken care of. And so you get into a new relationship and somebody new comes and there's a bond here. Then that loneliness will make you will make the relationship suffer 
because you'll be constantly, where are you going? I thought you were coming over tonight. And, and, and then the sadness and all that coming in and all these make-believe feelings that we make ourselves believe. Come on now. I mean, I, I'm not talking to stupid people like that. I'm talking to highly, highly intelligent people. And, and we start feeling all these feelings that we think we feel. And some of them for no reason whatsoever. It's just, it's because we didn't deal with something that had to be dealt with before you got back into another situation. So you can make it stronger. So you can learn to trust. So you can learn to love properly. Should I pull one more card? There is a bond coming. But another step has to be taken to make sure that you're prepared to make sure that there's no jealousies or angries. Spirit, it is the uh, King of Wands leadership. And so that you can Learn to be the leader. That you can lead the relationship into something healthy and loving. I like it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of pentacles, what I like to call the tickety boo card. Once you learn to lead in situations and make them happy and joyous. And the spirit keeps whispering two months. What does two months mean? Does two months mean something to you? The Nine of Pentacles, the tickety boo card, this is walking on freaking air. This is not only success and happiness and money, but enlightening. Enlightenment. And the sun and glory. And knowing how to work things. This is beautiful. I love this reading. I really do, Pisces. I love this reading for you. There's a couple of downsides here until that death card comes in. But that death card will definitely destroy that Nine of Wands. These things that you feel. All the, all the things we can think. All the feels we can feel. Who's here? Taurus, Scorpio, hello, balloon, Libra, Leo, Virgo, Aries, Virgo, Aries, wow, Virgo, that's a Virgo here, wow, not a Pisces on the board, Capricorn, not a Pisces on the board. That's very strange. Well, I love this reading for you. I love it. If you're doing really good, I'm so happy for you. You've come a long way. It's a friggin' hell of a ride. I was speaking to someone yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, and he said it's been a hell of a ride. I said, yeah, I know. It was a real friggin' circus. Flying monkeys everywhere. But you know what? You made it. Now it's just trimming the edges to perfection. I want to thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Spirit, for the reading. And if you like the way we read, please like and share. And before you go, if you could reach back and hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate that. And don't forget to ring the bell in hopes that you'll be notified the next time we put a Pisces video out for you. Namaste, darling.